of David West. Challenge accepted. So if uh, you don't follow the David West channel, he's a really cool guy who focuses on making friction fire pretty much every day, or at least some form of fire, just to keep the skills practiced up. And he has done fire a million different ways. If you're interested in learning about how to make fire or different ways, unique ways to make fire, you need to go check out the David West channel. Um, so he put out a challenge today to make a grease lamp, okay? Uh, they're called different things. You could call them an oil lamp and you can make them a million different ways. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to make one that I thought of um, could be cool to be able to carry around. Um, possibly in your pack as a survival scenario. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a, a jar right here. This is a sliced pimentos, an empty jar for that. Um, I think this will work really, really good uh, because it's got a seal. The oil shouldn't leak out or whatever medium you use for burning. Uh, so I'm going to experiment with that. I'm going to carry it around in a plastic bag. And, and let it kind of just slosh around and, and see if it'll leak at all. And if it doesn't leak, it'll be like a, a, a portable candle. So it'll be cool to be able to throw in a kind of a 72 hour kit, a bug out bag, that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to try to make two different um, wicks, one out of uh, tissue paper. And today is like just easy stuff you can find in your house. Uh, it's raining outside. So uh natural materials are wet for me here um and then i'm going to be using cotton balls to make a different wick uh what i'm going to be using is just some leftover cooking oil i literally keep uh a i save all my glass jars they're really good for saving food and stuff in uh but this is fried chicken grease basically and uh when i can't fry it anymore it gets too dark or too smelly or whatever I'll toss it in this and when I'm done with this, I'll either use it for fire or just toss it or whatever. Uh, but this is a great application for this. So uh, if we can't hopefully not get too messy here, I'm simply going to fill this up and then we're gonna roll and cut some of these um, makeshift wicks. So hopefully we can keep it pretty clean here. If we get too oily. Mmm, smells like used grease. Let's see here. I think that should probably be plenty. Uh, the cool thing about this is it has a cap, so it should be easy to turn off and on. Okay, so I just took a cotton ball here and I have unwound it. You can't do this with every single cotton ball depending on how they're made. I happened to, I had two different types of cotton ball, like a large uh, bag of cotton balls and I was able to find the start on one of them. I didn't find the other one, but you can just simply unroll it. And I'm gonna actually bring you guys over here closer to this process. All right, so we got our grease here. We've unrolled our cotton ball. And I haven't played around, uh, so I'm experimenting right now to see how I'm going to make this into more of a lamp wick. So we can put two of these together and we can twist and roll them and then coil them inside. Or we could try to roll at a little bit of an off angle like this kind of deal. And then just let it coil inside. Um, I think when I'm going to test this, I'm going to actually take a pair of pliers or whatever and take this wick out and put another one in just to test which one works better. I don't think one should work necessarily better than another, but imagine that this one will work slightly better because it has a little bit more surface area for burning. So, you know, I think I'm gonna put these two together. Let's see here. Thinking about rolling it. You roll it in the hands. Yeah, I think this will work slightly better. There we go. Okay, so we're getting a Kind of, kind of got to start off gently, otherwise it doesn't want to roll very well. Okay. 
Mm. I find that it rolls easier in one direction while I'm doing this, so we're going to stick with that. Now we can leave just this one, or I can do the same with this one and then twist them together. And I'm going to guess that's going to create a pretty large wake. I think this is going to be large already, but since cotton is so delicate, I think I'm going to do the double wake idea anyway. See, I'm going to crimp this together first and then we'll start rolling. It's kind of hard to start rolling this at first. I mean, not too difficult. It's not like... There we go. It just wants to flatten out at first in your hand. Uh, I'm thinking about lamp wicks, and generally they're pretty tightly woven. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave these, or I'm going to roll these pretty tight, or decently tight, after we've opened them up. So they don't, uh, hopefully that will stop them burning too fast. Alright. Okay, simply going to do uh, twist, pull back twist, pull back, like a cordage kind of style, I think. Or I could just simply twist them like this. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try both. Let's see how, let's see how it works. Definitely able to make it a lot tighter this way. Because we don't want them to burn up too quick. The longer this amount of oil should last quite a long time burning. Yeah, this is a, a better method. Yeah, that's better. Actually feels pretty strong there. Twist, pull, twist, pull, twist. So this is how you make uh, a natural cordage style. It's you twist uh, away from you and then grab this other one and you twist towards you. So, and then then you'll restart and then you use this finger to kind of pinch up and, and move along as you do that. So it's uh, your thumb and pointer finger and twist. And then as you twist that down, you'll grab this next one with your middle finger and then pull towards you and repeat. If you like that method, you can go look up how to make natural cordage. And there's a couple of different methods that they have in there. All right. So we're simply going to put this in and snake it around. There's some bubbles coming up. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, if you just leave this out here, it should start a waking process of where the oil will come up to the top. Um, I should have removed this label. Heat and paper on the outside is probably not great. I will uh, close this up and I'll remove the label uh, after we do that. We'll... Uh, get this a little head start here and I'm just going to test this out right now to see how it's going to work so this one uh, obviously you don't have a, a super easy method of keeping the uh, lamp wick out of here so I'm just going to kind of lay it off to the side if it doesn't work it doesn't work so we'll go ahead and uh, try that real quick Nice. Well, works. So let's go ahead and. All right, so it's easy to blow out, or you could just put the cap back on and suffocate it. So that works. And actually, uh, it smells pretty good. All right, so next one, we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're just gonna, I think we're gonna cut it in half. And I think we'll roll it up and we can actually get two wicks out of already a small paper towel. Hmm. I'm gonna try to roll this as tight as possible. So it's gonna take a minute. All right, I had an idea to actually use some of the oil to help this seal a little bit tighter. I'm gonna dip two fingers in oil. I'm just going to run it along here. It's going to be a little bit messy, but it's okay. There we 
There we go. Oh, hopefully stay a little bit tighter. It's easier to roll paper kind of, especially tightly when it's wet, but we obviously don't want a wet paper towel. So I'm just gonna go along and twist it. Hopefully it'll keep a, its shape slightly better. All right, so technically you could use that as a double-ended wick if you wanted to. Uh, you already got a wick in there, so we're just going to submerge this like we did the other one. And then just go in a circle. Wake this guy up. Flip it all the way down. And now we have a double-sided candle wick deal. And uh, let's give it a try. I think uh, something that might help is just keeping these ends a little twisted. Getting a little messy doing this, but that's all right. A little cooking grease never hurt anybody, I hope. <laughs> This one takes a second to the light, there we go. All right. So that one's automatically, uh, because of the surface area um, not being as tight as this cloth or as saturated yet, has a way bigger flame, which that's good to know. Why not? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and suffocate it. That one's also harder to put out. All right, that's good to know. Cool, all right, so we'll just keep those buried in there. And uh, I think when we go out and try this, um, we'll just take a stick and use the stick to kind of finagle the uh, the lamp, the, the lamp wicks out of there. And uh, we should be good and should remain oil free, hopefully. So, I'm going to tighten that down really good. We're going to put it in this bag. And we're going to test our theory. I mean, it held, obviously the seal's not sealed anymore, but it held liquid before. So, in theory, it should hold it now. And basically, you got a traveling candle. And we'll take this off. So, we'll see you guys outside. All right, as you can see, we are now outside for the testing portion of this video. So uh, it's pretty gray and it's very cold. It is like 40 degrees and raining and windy. So uh, I've been, ha I had this about a 10 minute drive from my place or so. This has been in my pocket now sloshing around. So we'll see if this has leaked at all. Nope. Clean. I'll tell you what, it was actually harder to get the, uh, I should have soaked this beforehand and got the label off. I had to use like alcohol and a lot of scrubbing, but uh, all right, let's see. Okay, easy come off. Let's go ahead and fish our wicks out of here. I'm just using the uh, end of my knife here. Let's see where the other one went. I guess you just gotta get a little bit oily. I have to come up, I'll have to think of a method to where I can easily get these to stick out without having to get all oily. Super windy. This is a good, a good test once we get these going to see how effective they can be. Sheesh. There we go. That one took a second. Almost. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. All right. So that was a little bit of a task getting that lit. But uh, as you can see, it's extremely windy out here. Um, not, I mean, not a, like it's not like hurricane wind or anything, but it's windy enough to not keep this lit. Just blows right out. So that's a pretty good test right there, if you ask me. I don't know. 
What more you could ask for? So I'm not letting go of the button either. It's just blowing, blowing out in this wind here. It's cold enough where you can uh, see your breath out here too. So this is actually putting off a decent amount of little warmth too. All right, challenge accomplished. Guys, if you're interested in learning how to make one of these, uh, do it. Uh, there's no uh, substitute for experience. And go check out David West, and he has a whole playlist of how to make different versions of these using different materials, different oils, uh, etc. See you around, guys.